Now we have the big pleasure to be next to Andrzej Dezan. I hope I pronounced that one right. You participated at the Eurovision Song Contest 2006 yeah. for Slovenia with Mr. Nobody. How were you, was the experience in Athens at that time? Oh, the experience was incredible. Um, not only was that the last city and the last country to be warm for quite some time, um, we're still waiting for a <laughs> southern country to win again. Um, it's been wonderful. Um, the sound, the people, Greece, all the fans. Um, I think the performance was good. We were all really happy with it. Um, and I still don't quite exactly remember the three minutes on stage. So it was an out of body experience, so to speak. Why, didn't, don't, why don't you remember the, the minutes on stage? I don't know, it was just so exciting. I remember the flags waving, I remember people screaming before the song began. And then once the music started, it's like a gap in my memory. There's nothing there. Are you really from Slovenia? Because when, when you speak, you sound very British to me. Oh, um, that's probably... Um, I, I'm studying in London now, um, so I've kind of relocated. Um, but yeah, originally from Slovenia. What do you study in London? Fashion journalism. Oh, fantastic. So, <laughs> good luck with this one. Thank you very but much. But would you continue with music? Do you, or, or you just take a break? Or not not necessarily. Um, I'm not quite sure about that. Um, I would love to do Eurovision again. Um, so hopefully in the next, I don't know, decade? Is that right? Yeah, decade. Um, if, um, I would love to go to Eurovision again. And as far as the music career in Slovenia is concerned, I'm not sure that the um, current situation is, is very beneficial for singers. Um, so I really don't have um, ambitions to work there, for now. So for which country would you like to sing then? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's not, it's, I just, um, we, have, we have to see. I would like to find a really good song um, and maybe enter another country. Because I, I always keep saying that it's so important to spread your wings and fly with Eurovision. That's the most important thing. And I think there is a lot of countries to discover, a lot of new markets, a lot of new music territories. And as music is translatable in to any language, um, I think I could pull that off. What in the first place made you become a Eurovision artist? It, it's funny that you say that because I consider myself to be um, a, a Eurovision artist. That's the kind of music I like, that's the kind of music um, I like performing. Um, I really did find myself in it. Um, so, um, Emma and um, you know, uh, the Eurovision Song Contest, it was always in my plans. I just didn't know it would happen as soon as it did, because it was my first entry um, in EMA uh, and victory, first time round. So that was exciting mm -hmm. and strange, um, and it kind of made things happen um, for the good and for the worse. How, after Athens, how did it continue for you? I did some songs. Um, there's a music festival in Slovenia called Slovenska Popeyka where I participated in 2009. That was really nice. Um, I liked the song. Um, you got a couple of the words. Um, so it was a very different experience to the Eurovision Song Contest as you sing live with an orchestra. Um, that was really amazing. Um, but after that I kind of stopped working actively on the pop side of things. Um, just because I think I needed a break and the people needed a break from me. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that I think is the curse of Eurovision. Um, unless you do really, really, really well, um, you go back to your whole home country um, and people are kind of sick of hearing about you for, you know, six months in advance because it was all Eurovision, Eurovision, mm -hmm. Eurovision. So everyone needs a little break. Now you're a fashion designer student in London, but do you still perform? Fashion journalism. F sorry, fashion journalism. Yeah. But do you still perform in uh, in UK or in other countries? Um, no, I haven't. I haven't performed um, um, elsewhere. I've done some uh, concerts. For example, this one in in uh, Munich is a nice example of it. Um, so I've been to Frankfurt. I've been to Munich, um, and I just love doing Eurovision stuff. Um, I'm really happy when whenever I get the invitation um, to do a Eurovision performance.